Georgia Tech since Monday night? Well, like we thought, a fantastic team, uh, very, very athletic. I think the thing that stands out immediately is might be the most physical team I've seen in years on tape in all positions. So uh, we've really got some questions to answer with regards to their physicality at both ends. Play a variety of defenses, uh, but they're known for how much they're going to press. So we, we expect to see uh, probably 40 minutes of presses, different presses the whole night and how we handle that and uh, keep our turnovers low would be a huge key. Are these presses full court, half court, or a variety of different things? They're going to give you different looks. The one thing I think that it's hard to find a rhythm breaking their press because they keep changing on you. From full quarter trapping presses to three quarter uh, more containment presses and then, then they'll turn around and be a man to man press. So they do a great job of switching their presses and keeping you off balance, but you're gonna see that pressure and that physicality all night long. How much are they likely to give up as far as amazing baskets? Well, you hope that you can attack some and, and uh, put pressure back at them with their press. If you're, if you're on your heels the whole time, um, then I think that's when they eat teams up. But in the non-conference, non-BCS schools, they averaged uh, turning people over 25 times a game. And so they, they were averaging getting roughly in the neighborhood of 35% of their offense directly from their defensive pressure. So keeping turnovers low, again, will be a huge key. And uh, we're going to have waves of it. We'll, we'll turn it over some, and then we'll, we'll hopefully we'll have some success breaking it. What are you doing with your guards in particular right this week then uh, to get ready for that? Well, you have to use your men's practice players, and even our men's practice players, I gave a hard time that they weren't as physical as what Georgia Tech was going to be. <laughs> so I don't know if I have time to uh, um, recruit the football team over here to help get us ready. I mean, they're just that athletic and that physical. So we're doing our best. We've got to worry about ourselves. At the same time, you got to prepare for Georgia Tech. Oh, big like we were talking about last year in Michigan State, you see any similarities between them and Georgia Tech this year? Uh, it's a good it's a good correlation um, the thing that's different between Michigan State and, and Georgia Tech same type of physicality Georgia Tech's more athletic so add a different level of speed on top of the physicality but uh, a good comparison uh, our opponents last year were very physical also now that you're not going up against that 6'9 6'10 center what is your approach to the inside game? Yes, we got we got lucky. We're now down to two six five centers. Um, so we're we're still they they can put a lineup on the floor where their two guard is bigger and stronger than any post player we have in our program. So uh, they can play monster lineups with four kids over six foot. Um, you know, so we know we have our work cut out for us. We're we're it's not a great draw for us. It's a great location but a really tough opponent, uh, very athletic and physical. But uh, we won't back down. We'll, we'll go. We'll, we'll give them a fight. Where Any player you've played this year, uh, not going back, I should say, but this season, that reminds you of some of their post players that are maybe like Courtney Brown or a dominant post player. Well, we talked to our team, uh, just got done in the MAC championship against Kristen Thomas, who was the, uh, the power forward for Eastern Michigan. Now, we compared some of Georgia Tech's kids athletically and strength-wise to Kristen Thomas, but Kristen Thomas is probably three inches shorter than most of the kids on Georgia Tech's team. But that's the closest physical presence in the MAC that we can give as example. Are there specific players they have to do most of the scoring for them? How, how do we match up with those guys? They're very balanced in the amount of shots that they'll take, but they have an outstanding WNBA prospect named Alex Montgomery. Uh, she can play anywhere from the two through the four. Very versatile, uh, great uh, wing player. She can shoot the three, takes about six threes a game, but she can beat you off the dribble. She's very, very fast. And if she gets a defensive rebound, she'll act like the point guard and bring it from coast to coast. So. Uh, Lauren will have a very, very tough matchup with Alex Montgomery. I think you'll see her in the WNBA this summer, so uh, it, it's a great player. You You're talked about expectations the other night. Have you talked to the team about expectations? You know, let's not be happy with just being here. Let's, let's try to win a game. Let's win a game. You know, I don't even think I have to bring that up. I think the team um, doesn't want to be done. They enjoy playing with each other. They enjoy being around each other. And so they're going down there um, to give it their best effort. Now, the expectations that we have, we're, the, we're a severe underdog. So I feel that we can take that role on and use it to our benefit that we have no pressure. There, there's no expectations nationally 
for us in this game and how physical and talented this team is. But in our own locker room, there's an expectation that we want to keep playing as long as we can. These kids seem like, though, that it doesn't matter if you're playing a MAC team or the Lakers, they don't get bothered by much. Well, you have six seniors that help, so you're a veteran team, and they're pretty even keel. Now, I'm telling you, there will be stretches in this game that we're rattled, and how we handle that and how we keep our composure through those stretches is going to be a big, big story uh, because this team rattles everyone, including nationally ranked teams in the ACC. So we know that uh, we're going to have some ups and downs throughout this game, and we've got to stay uh, pretty even keeled to be able to handle their pressure. No, they didn't win the ACC. Where are their vulnerabilities? Well, um, they don't have many weaknesses, <laughs> but uh, uh, they, they rely on two kids to make a lot of the three-point shots. So a lot of teams zone them. Um, the problem with ours, our, our zone, is we haven't rebounded very well out of it. So we might get them to miss some shots, but it's very, very difficult to rebound out of zone when you don't have exact matchups. So, you see a lot of teams switch up defenses against them in the ACC. We're going to have to do a little bit of that also. I want to ask you about